Is one of these lights right here the perfect everyday carry light? We're gonna find out. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Today we're talking about EDC lights. I just recently posted an EDC update for what I'm carrying during the winter, and I mentioned that I've been carrying flashlights again. This is something that I probably should just leave in my EDC rotation full time because even in the summertime they are extremely useful for a lot of different things. But in the wintertime it obviously gets dark a lot earlier, so that is why I have sort of been back on the bandwagon of carrying different types of pocket lights. So this started a few weeks ago, a friend of mine texted me a picture of a new light that he picked up and I completely forgot that this light even existed. And that is right here, the Streamlight Macro Stream. This has been out on the market for a little while now and it just sort of resonated with me because a long while back, this light right here was my go-to. This light right now is probably over like seven years old. I think I've had this before I even started my YouTube channel. I was into EDC way before I started making videos and this one has been through quite a lot. Can't remember if I lost one and replaced it, but this is the just OG Streamlight MicroStream. So today we're taking a look at the Streamlight MicroStream, the MicroStream USB, as well as the newest addition to their lineup, the Streamlight MacroStream. Now let's jump right into this starting with the OG MicroStream. This is a tiny little flashlight that you can throw in your pocket with a deep carry pocket clip. This clip is removable and it does have a little backwards clip on it because you can mount it up to a hat just like this. And this is super, super handy. I love having this feature on a lot of different lights, just like the previous Surefire Stiletto. You can clip this thing to your hat nice and easily and it's just a cool way of carrying your light around that way you can use your hands. So the OG MicroStream is powered by a single AAA battery. It's about 3.6 inches in length, weighs just a little bit over one ounce. And the light source is coming from a C4 LED with a 30,000 hour lifetime. Now this thing is sort of the runt of the litter, really small, it still fits in the hand pretty nicely. It has a clicky tail cap button on there. You can half press it for momentary or click it fully to leave it on. Just one mode, 45 lumens and about 420 candela. Now the runtime on this guy starts at 45 lumens and then over two hours and 15 minutes it will slowly degrade down until the battery is completely dead. But as long as you have a fresh battery in here, that 45 lumens is actually pretty damn good for most tasks. Like I said, I've carried this light for a long time. They're relatively inexpensive and you can tell on this one, that black anodized finish gets some really cool like stress marks, boba fetting as people call it on there. And after you carry these lights for a while, I think they end up looking pretty damn cool. So now let's take a step up the food chain and talk about the Streamlight MicroStream USB. This one is coming in just a little bit longer at 3.87 inches and a weight of 1.2 ounces as opposed to 1.1 on the regular MicroStream. This does have the same removable clip and you can put it on your hat just like that. This has the same C4 LED in there with a 30,000 hour lifetime. And this one comes with two modes now, about 250 lumens on high and 1150 candela, and then a low mode of about 50 lumens and 250 candela. Here's a quick size comparison so you can see just a little bit of size difference. The USB version is just a little bit longer. And the reason for that is because obviously this thing is rechargeable. If you pull out on the light head here, you get access to a charge port. And the USB versions of these lights do come with a lanyard and of course a little charge cable. So for the USB micro stream, you're getting a little tiny charge cable like this. Micro USB, plug that thing in there and you can charge it up pretty damn quick. Now the way the modes on this thing work, it's the same clicky tail cap as the original micro stream if I momentary press it you're gonna get low mode immediately if I want to leave it in low mode I click it and that will stay on and now if I want to get to the high mode I'll tap it into low and then tap it immediately again now I'm in high mode again if I let off that's momentary or if I do low high and then click it now it is stuck in the high mode giving me about 250 lumens a beam distance of about 68 meters. This thing definitely fulfills my needs for any kind of EDC light. Again, I'm typically putting this on a hat or just like digging around in a drawer, maybe fixing something in an engine bay, whatever it may be. This thing is definitely bright enough. No extra fancy strobe modes or anything like that. Rechargeable, so you don't have to worry about replacing batteries. You can throw this thing on a charge like once a week or every night if you're using your light quite a lot. 
and that battery should last you a pretty long time. Now for the one that I almost forgot about until my friend sent me the picture of his, the Streamlight Macro Stream. I remember playing with this thing at SHOT Show maybe like two years ago or so. I'm not exactly sure when this released, but it's essentially the biggest brother to the Micro Stream, so Macro Stream. This thing is quite a bit bigger, coming in at four and a half inches long with a body diameter of about 0.83 inches. So definitely fills up the hand a lot more. With that four and a half inches there, I could actually kind of choke up on the clicky tail cap and you could use this as like a striker. In the past, I did carry the Streamlight ProTac, which is powered by a single double A and this thing has like a crown bezel on it. So it's more of a tactical light, but not really carrying a pocket light for tactical reasons. So back to the macro stream, this thing has the same pocket clip as all of the other lights. You can clip it on your hat. This one's probably a little bit easier to put on your hat because the clip is a little bit bigger and it is removable too. You could throw it on a lanyard if you wanted to. They are all deep carry clips though and they ride super nice in your pocket. Now this one has almost the identical LED technology, 30,000 hour lifetime on it. And this one has two different modes, a high mode of 500 lumens at 2000 candela giving you a beam distance of about 90 meters, and then a low mode of 50 lumens and about 220 candela, giving you about a 30 meter beam distance. On high, this thing's gonna run for about two hours. On low, it's going to run for eight hours, and all of their runtime claims are to 10% of the initial lumen output. Now for the macro stream, same clicky tail cap. This one is obviously a little bit bigger, and if I half press it, that gives me high mode, so that's about 500 lumens, and then if I half press, and click again, now that is in low mode, about 50 lumens. So it seems like these two are opposite of each other. This one starts in low, and then you press it again for high. This one starts in high, and then you press it again for low. Not a big deal, but when I did get this light, I was kind of confused. I'm like, why? Why is it picking different modes? I'm not sure. If you want all the lumens that this thing can provide, then I guess that's a good thing. Now, when it comes to being the perfect EDC light, this is where it's basically just my opinion. I really love the original MicroStream. Like I said, I've had this light for a long time. It's good enough for my needs. I don't really need anything brighter. However, if I did, the MicroStream USB would definitely be a better option. You can recharge the batteries, you still get the same clicky tail cap, two different modes now, you can recharge it, still clip it on your hat, it's a nice touch. So between the micro USB and the macro USB, I have been carrying this one a little bit more just because it's new to me and I wanted to test it out a little bit. It's definitely not too big in my pocket, I was just carrying this stiletto, which obviously when you compare the form factor, it's about the same length, but this one sits flat, so it's wider in your pocket. This thing goes relatively unnoticed and then these go almost completely unnoticed. I'm pretty sure this one has been through my washer before. Now again, in my opinion, when it comes to being the perfect EDC light, there are some things that I probably would change. It would be nice to be able to tail stand this, but obviously it's going to fall over because that clicky tail cap just protrudes a little bit. And that goes for both of the other micro streams as well. Some other lights to mention that I liked in the past, which I mean, I still like, they're good lights. I actually have two of these in my van, the Olight S2R Baton 2 and the S1R Baton 2. These have flat bottoms on them, so they will stand up on a table. They also are magnetic and rechargeable, which is a really nice touch, but I don't really care for the button placement on these. I prefer lights to be activated from the back, like little clickies. And since I've carried these, Olight has released a version that is USB rechargeable. It has a clicky cap on there. I think you can tail stand it, it's magnetic. So that light would probably suit my needs a little bit more, but Olight, you guys know. If you know, you know. So back to the debate between these two, if you could tail stand these or if they were magnetic in some capacity, that would probably be like my perfect ideal EDC light. Also, you charge this one the same way as you charge the micro, didn't mention that. And the macro also comes with a little bit longer of a cable. So if you could tail stand these, if it was magnetic somehow, maybe if it even had a little strike bezel like the ProTac on there, that could be cool. I think this is like the Goldilocks zone for lights though. I love the clip. I love that I can put it on my hat. I wish I could tail stand it. Lumens, plenty bright for everything that I'm doing. I like that it has two different modes. So the two things that I would do to improve this light would be to be able to tail stand it and also it would be nice to be able to stick it as a magnet to the side of your truck door or wherever. The magnet definitely comes in handy, especially when you're working in tight places and 
for that, I would, I guess, dock it one point. But for now, this has been my new jam. I'm gonna be carrying this for a little while. I might eventually switch to the MicroStream USB. Not exactly sure yet. I'm still trying to find that like perfect EDC light. I've got everything else in my EDC loadout kind of dialed in. And this is the one part that switches more often than any other piece of gear that I carry. So if you guys have any questions on these lights, let me know in the comments down below. I will also leave links for the three different lights, the MicroStream, MicroStream USB, and the MacroStream USB. I'll leave those in the description as well. That's gonna be all for today. So if you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.